in Wisconsin, a dramatic showdown between state workers and the governor today. The state house has felt more like a madhouse. Protesters broke through windows and even locked doors. Protesters slept outside Speaker Fitzgerald's office. A hundred union workers demonstrating in front of the home of Jeff Fitzgerald. Big time Democratic money and organizers from out of state trying to influence Wisconsin's vote. We have to have leaders who are willing to stand up. We must stop spending. We have both an economic and fiscal crisis in the state. No tax increases, no fee increases. Politicians have made promises and failed to deliver on them. They pushed the tough decisions off to the future. But the future is now. The status quo is no longer acceptable. Wisconsin's new budget is law. And we passed a piece of legislation that will reform the state of Wisconsin for generations. 16,000 private sector jobs. The budget fills a $3.6 billion deficit and creates a predicted $300 million surplus. We balanced a $3.6 billion deficit without raising taxes. A lot of people ask me, are you going to run away from Scott Walker or run away from the reforms that you made? No, that's what people are looking for. They're looking for limited government, less spending, and that's what we need out in Washington, D.C.